Hi, everybody. It's June 25, 2021. This is part three, the Broad Foundation. This investigation provides a very good, uh, well, summary, really. Some details, but a summary of how they install people uh, into schools, into public schools, into administrative positions, into those positions where the individual has power and influence to change, to reform, and also to organize advocates to fight those who do not want the big money agendas taking place. So I will read this, just what I've highlighted. I will link to it below. There are also uh, many involved. Dick and Betsy Davos Foundation and the Waltons, of course, the Walmart family. And you can check out the standardized curricula. Yes, in 1983, the U.S. report, A Nation at Risk, sought to promote an education that would discipline the mind and the soul of the child to meet the goals of a more productive and prosperous society through an emphasis on standards, discipline, character, and moral values, as well as common core curriculum of academic study. Wow. This has been going on for decades, you know, as they do with all these agendas. They implement them incrementally, and when they achieve a certain success, they just, you know, it's the flooring, you know, the uh, press the pedal to the metal acceleration, and that's what we're living right now. So the Broad Foundation, which is uh, a foundation, it provides funds to groups advocating for charter schools as education reform now, and also to groups training non-educators to be teachers and principals in schools such as Teach for America and New Leaders for New Schools. Broad and his foundation believe that public schools should be run like a business. One of the tenets of his philosophy is to produce system change by investing in disruptive force, continual reorganizations, firings of staff, and experimentation to create chaos or churn is believed to be productive and beneficial as it weakens the abilities of communities to resist change. It's what we're living. And this is just the agenda that is taking place in uh, the arena of education. This takes place in all all the arenas of all of the agendas that are taking place today. A hallmark of the Broad style leadership is closing existing schools rather than attempting to improve them, increasing, increasing class size, opening charter schools, imposing high stakes test based accountability systems on teachers and students, and implementing of pay for performance schemes. The Broad Foundation and the Gates Foundation teamed up in 2007 for a $60 million strong American schools campaign to ensure that education was a strong election issue and to promote strong curriculum standards, standardized testing, and merit-based pay for teachers. The Obama administration was poised to cultivate and bring to fruition the seeds we and other reformers have planted. Yay, Obama. Yeah, change. The change campaign. The foundation funds the Broad Center, uh, Foundation Bill and Gates, 
uh, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, funds the Broad Center, which runs two executive development programs aimed at getting its alumni into positions of power where they can promote and implement the foundation's education agenda. Broad trained executives hold top leadership positions in many of the nation's education districts, including the three largest, New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. Critics argue Broad trained superintendents use corporate management techniques to consolidate power, weaken teachers' job protections, cut parents out of decision making, and introduce unproven reform measures. One program is the Broad Superintendents Academy. Those attending the academy have their tuition and travel costs paid for the foundation and uh, or from the foundation and following the six weekend course find jobs as school district executives and superintendents they come from business the military government as well as the education sector academy graduates have filled 71 superintendent positions and 87 senior school district executive possession, um, positions. Graduates of the program currently work as superintendents or school district executives in 53 cities across 28 states. In 2009, 43% of all large urban superintendent openings were filled by broad Academy graduates. Wow. This has been going on for a long time. It is an infiltration into every institution. Weeding this out at this point, you need an army of weed whackers. Broad graduates are in this way able to gain an alternative certification process, which has come to supplant or override the typical regulations in many states that, are, that require that individuals have years of experience as a teacher or a principal before being installed as a school district superintendent. The other program is the Broad Residency has also successfully placed some 200 graduates into over 50 educational institutions. The residency involves working full-time in paid positions at the top levels of urban school districts, state and federal departments of education, and leading charter management organizations. Participants have an average of 10 years of experience, typically from Fortune 500 or other major company companies. The foundation provides them with professional development for the first two years and subsidizes their salaries 50% the first year, 25% the second year. This subsidy makes them attractive to poorer school districts. Uh, Broad Fellows currently hold leadership positions in districts such as Washington, D.C., New Orleans, uh, Philadelphia, Detroit, Green Bay, Boston, Durham, Prince George's, George's County, Maryland, Providence, Houston, Chicago, Dallas, and Oakland, to name but a few. The annual $2 million Broad Prize given to a chosen school district <laughs> we'll give you two million dollars school district if you go along to get along oh but I care about children ah but you care about money more yeah it sweetens the pot to say the least which makes the selection of a broad connected CEO almost irresistible. Excuse me for the noise, but I need to check out what fell. My cat jumped up and knocked a shovel that was hanging on a hook on the wall. Okay, so 
This is how they do it. One of the best known Broad fellow was Joe Klein, Joel Klein, who became chancellor of New York City Public Schools. The schools were subsequently given over $100 million by Broad and Gates Foundations. The Broad Institute for School Boards, for school boards, provides three training programs for elected school board members and non-Broad trained superintendents conducted in partnership with the Center for Reform of School Systems. The institute trains new board members, board members, at a one-week summer residential setting. Its alumni institute is an advanced course for experienced school board members. The third program, Reform Governance in Action, is by invitation only and provides a long-term training consulting partnership program to selected large urban districts. The Broad Foundation underwrites 80% of all program costs through a grant to the Center for Reform, Reform for School Systems. These programs not only give the Broad Foundation influence through getting their own trainees into key positions, but this influence is increased because Broad graduates tend to hire other Broad graduates. Yeah. Los Angeles. Unified School District is a great example. Here are their alumni, all from Broad. Early 2011, three prominent school district superintendents trained by the Broad Superintendents Academy resigned, resigned after allegations of mismanagement, autocratic leadership styles, and or the pursuit of unpopular policies. The Broad Residency also receives funding from the Gates Foundation, $3.6 million in 2010. So... I wish I could find an updated investigation. However, parents, you need to do some research on your school board members. Find out. Find out. Look at their resume. Where were they trained? Because I believe in Virginia especially, the... uh, What's happening in the Loudoun County Public Schools? That school board? Whoa. The retaliation, the ganging up on, the doxing of, you know, the calling in, busing in, their reinforcements at school board meetings. I would have, I would be very surprised to find that those school board members did not go through one of these trainings. Now, I mentioned in my last video that I came upon a long time ago an investigation that was brilliant, that really detailed not just the foundations like Bill and Gates, uh, Bill and Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Broad Foundation, and Waltons, and but many other foundations also involved in training they select out executives and corporations they train military personnel uh, a whole lot in government they put them through the training they pay for it they give them very handsome subsidies when they install them as superintendents, as administrators, as school board members. We do not live in a country where a whole lot of people actually care about children. We live in a country filled with people out for their own best interest and that best interest is not well they think it's their best interest but 
it's it comes down to money so when you have big money families footing the bill for this reform yes we need an army of people we need an awful lot we need every parent who is against what is happening in the schools today to find their courage immediately and stand up speak out join forces with the other parents otherwise you're not doing your job protecting your child and if it's not going to be that join forces with other parents against what's happening in your schools and pull your children out organize there are teachers that are not happy with these uh, agendas. Find them and then sit down. All of you discuss how you're going to create a home schooling or a community schooling where you actually are teaching your children what is most important. Critical thinking you know, uh, encouraging them to become the individuals that they are instead of the common, you know, let's pull everybody down to the lowest level so they're all common. So you, uh, so you allow their creativity to flourish, their individuality, their critical thinking Homeschoolers, by the way, are the most healthy. And by far, uh, well, for lack of a better word, the smartest. Public school children now are just, doesn't matter. You live in an affluent area and that's where your school is or you live in a poor area, it doesn't matter. Uh, now we're 38, I think, in terms of math. The nations of the world, the ranking, 38. Number one, number one. No, we're not number one at all in many areas. Medical, education, science, uh, all of it. So if you want to be part of the full destruction of this country, sit back, do nothing. If you don't, do something. Please, fast.